Hello everybody! Welcome to today's devotion for September 1st. Can you believe we are in September now, guys? Crazy! Uh, today's Bible reading is from John chapter 16, verses 25 to 33. I have spoken of these matters in figures of speech, but soon I will stop speaking figurative, figuratively and will tell you plainly all about the Father. Then you will ask in my name. I'm not saying I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you dearly because you love me and believe that I came from God. Yes, I came from the Father into the world, and now I will leave the world and return to the Father. Then his disciples said, At last you are speaking plainly and not figuratively. Now we understand that you know everything, and there is no need to question you. From this we believe that you came from God. Jesus asked, Do you finally believe? But the time is coming, indeed, it's here now, when you will be scattered, each one going his own way, leaving me alone. Yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you all this, so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart, because I have overcome the world. Life Magazine's July 12, 1968 cover displayed a horrifying photograph of starving children from Biafra in Nigeria during a civil war. A young boy, distressed, took a copy of the magazine to a pastor and asked, Does God know about this? The pastor replied, I know you don't understand, but yes, God knows about that. The boy walked out declaring he was uninterested in such a God. These questions disturb not only children, but all of us. Alongside an affirmation of God's mysterious knowledge, I wish that boy had heard about the epic story God is continuing to write, even in places like the former nation of Biafra. Jesus unfolded the story for his followers, those who assumed he'd shield them from hardship. Christ told them instead that in this world you will have trouble. What Jesus did offer, however, was his promise that these evils weren't the end. In fact, he'd already overcome the world. And in God's final chapter, every injustice will be undone, every suffering healed. Genesis to Revelation recounts the story of God destroying every unthinkable evil, making every wrong right. The story presents the loving one whose interest in us is unquestioned. Jesus said to his disciples, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. May we rest, may we rest in his peace and presence today. How does the story you see feel tragic? How does Jesus' promise to write a good ending free you? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.